Hello, this is Ivan. How's it going? I'm going to show you A2 Cloud, which provides you with mass storage and internet access for any Apple II. Well, almost any, not the original Apple II with Integer Basic. We are going to use my Apple IIc. You can see that it's a 2C. You will see that both of its serial ports are in use. They are connected to my Raspberry Pi which provides all the magic. The Raspberry Pi, in case you are unfamiliar with it, is a $35 tiny silent computer. And I'll have more to say about that later. I'm just going to give you the demo right here and I will tell you how to do all this. In a future video, you can also read all about it at apple2.ivanx.com slash a2cloud. Alright, here goes nothing. We are going to boot up the a2cloud boot floppy and what that will do is allow us to access the virtual drives which are provided by David Schmidt's VS drive which is part of his ADT Pro software. So I'm going to run dash VS drive and now we have access to virtual drives in slot 2 drives 1 and 2. Let's take a look at what's in slot 2 drive 2. It is the full version of the AT of the A2 Cloud disk. You'll see it includes goodies like ProTerm and Shrinkit. And you'll also see by looking at the blocks used in free that this is an 800K disk, which an Apple IIc does not have, unless it's a 2C Plus, but this one isn't. Let's take a look at what's in Drive 1. We have in Drive 1 a 4 megabyte virtual disk. So both of these disks, Drive 1 and Drive 2, are disk image files that are stored on the Raspberry Pi. And again, I'll explain how to do all of this in due time. You can also read all about it on the website. I'm just trying to show you what you can do. And what you can do right now is go to town with lots more disk space than you normally get on an Apple II. We have 4 megs in Drive 1. We've got 800K with utilities in Drive 2. Now, the other thing that you can do, and actually there's lots you can do, but the main other thing that A2Cloud gives you is the ability to get on the internet. And so let's go check that out by going to slot 2, drive 2. I type slot 2, slot 2. Let's try that again correctly. All right, there we go. And let's run ProTerm. For those of you who haven't used ProTerm, it's a robust communications package for Apple II 8-bit computers. If you have a 2GS, you could use something like Spectrum, um, but you should use a program that does VT100 emulation no matter what. I also provide Z-Link as part of A2 Cloud because Z-Link fits on an 140K floppy, unlike ProTerm, and it also is self-contained in memory, so it doesn't need to keep itself in the drive once it's launched, which ProTerm does. In ProTerm, if you don't, if you remove the disk, you'll see errors when you try to do various ProTerm commands. Anyway, so ProTerm is learning up. Now, if you'll notice the flashing in the upper right-hand corner, that is VS Drive's way of indicating disk activity. So when you are accessing your virtual drives, that's how you know it's what it's happening. All right, so here we are, almost there in ProTerm. And we're going to go online. We're going to go 4800 baud, VT100 emulation, no status bar, and line status online. And you will see that you're logged into your Raspberry Pi. That's because I was on here before. Let's log out and you'll see what you would normally see. This is what you would normally see. It would be asking you to log in. The username is Pi and the password is either Raspberry or Apple II. Uh, if you install the A2 server then it's Apple II. Otherwise by default it's Raspberry. Alright, and now here you are logged in at the Linux prompt and because you are now logged in to a computer that's connected to the internet you can do internet things like go to an FTP site. So let's go to gno.org for example. And you can browse for stuff, which is cool, isn't it? I think it's cool. Let's go get a game. I overshot the games. All right, games. Let's get an arcade game. 
Let's get Burr's app. All right, now if you look in the lower lower left, you'll see, oh, open a connection, file send OK, done. You just downloaded it. And now we can see that by typing ls, which is sort of the Unix version of catalog. Um, and you can see the file burzap.sdk, which is what you downloaded. Those other two burzap files I'm actually aren't supposed to be there. They're only there because I put them there earlier when I was testing. So I'm going to remove them right now. Let's do another quick ls. This is a short version. All right, now we've just got burzap.sdk. Now, with the appropriate command, which again is all on the website, you can unshrink it. An SDK file is a shrunk image file, and a shrunk disk image file. So, boom, it's expanded. And so now we've got Burzap, disk image on a Raspberry Pi. You definitely know it's a disk image because if you'll see the size, it's 143,360, which is exactly the size of a 140K disk. So, what do we do with that? Well, we can go back to ADT Pro, well, which we haven't done yet. So I'm going to reboot from the A2 Cloud floppy. I'm going to run ADT Pro. For those of you who haven't used ADT Pro, it transfers disk images to and from actual Apple II floppy disks, which is awesome. So I'm going to run ADT Pro from our boot floppy, and there it is. If we type dir, it's going to show you what's actually on the Raspberry Pi, and you can see, oh, Burzap is there. Cool. All right. So we're going to type receive, and we're going to type Burzap, and it's going to ask where we want to put it. I don't want to overwrite my boot floppy, so I'll put in a different disk. Hello, here's the disk. And I'm just going to choose slot 6 drive 1. If I... If I were to rescan drives, you'll see, okay, that's better. Just, just, just to make sure we're not overwriting anything. Okay, slot 6 drive 1, this is okay to erase. And now, ADT Pro is transferring it, and we are transferring that disk image, and we're going to get an actual floppy from this. So, just to recap while it transfers, what we've done right now is, one, we've taken a look at how you can actually just get virtual drives. That's cool. We've taken a look at how you can go to an FTP site on the internet and download software. And now we're seeing how you can transfer that software that you just downloaded to an actual Apple II floppy. Now, what you will also be able to do is if you downloaded a ProDOS disk, you'll be able to just immediately use it as one of your virtual drives by copying its files to or just quote unquote inserting it in your virtual drive. All right, we're just about done here. All right, complete. Hooray. Let's reboot. And bang. We have a disk that we just downloaded on the internet with our Apple IIc, and all in a few minutes. Pretty good stuff. All right, Burzap, you get the idea. Um, all right, so next I'm going to show you how you can not just go to FTP sites, but even go to some websites and download things. So I'm going to boot from the A2 Cloud floppy again. And I'm going to run VS Drive so I can get access to my virtual disks. And I'm going to run ProTerm again. Once ProTerm comes up, we'll be able to and log back into our Raspberry Pi, and we are going to browse a website. And we do that with a Linux program called Lynx, which, believe it or not, is a text-only web browser. So it really doesn't work with almost any websites. But for very simple websites that are text-based, it actually does work. Um, and so for an example of that is the IvanX.com website. So we'll check that out. But there are also some download sites that are very simple in layout. And, uh, you know, you can give them a shot with Lynx. So almost there. All right, so let's go online. Let's go parameters. 4800 baud, no emulation. There are ways of saving shortcuts in both ProTerm 
and VS drive so you don't have to do those settings every time. I just haven't done that. All right, now because we didn't log out when we were last here, we are still logged in pretty much where we left off. Um, also, I'm going to remove this because it's left there from when I was working on it earlier. In any case, let's go to the Apple to the Ivanex website. All right, and links appear as inverse. So let's go to the Apple II extravaganza. And let's go to Slammer. You can see which link is highlighted by where the cursor is blinking next to it. Here we are on my Slammer web page. Let's download the 140K ProDOS disk image. It's asking, do I want to download or cancel? I'm going to click download. I'm going to choose save to disk. You might not be able to see this that clearly, but you know, take my word for it. All right, I've now downloaded and saved Slammer from my website. So I'm going to go quit. You will see, OK, there it is. I just downloaded it. You saw it there before because I downloaded it before and forgot to delete it, but there it is. Now, because this is a ProDOS disk, we can go ahead and just insert it in one of our virtual drives. So I'm going to put it in drive one, replacing temporarily the 4 meg disk that's there. And I'm going to go VSD1, that's the command, virtual serial drive one. We just inserted it in the drive. And how do we know that? Because in ProTerm, we can go catalog. And remember, ProTerm is running off of drive two. But you will now see that in drive one is slammer 111. And how cool is that? So let's catalog it. And there it is. So what we just did is we went to a website on our Apple II, and we downloaded a ProDOS disk image, and we immediately put it in one of our virtual drives and have access to the stuff on it. And just to further prove that point, we can go to File, Quit, OK. And if we go through the ProDOS boot chooser, you'll see, oh, Slammer is now one of the online volumes. And you could just run basic system. And it's going to boot up. So I hope this has given you a taste of what you can do with A2 Cloud. It's, uh, there's more, and I'll be continuing to add. There's more on the website. I'll be making more videos on how to actually hook this all up and do this. Um, there's also other stuff you can do on the internet because you're limited only by what you can do on the Raspberry Pi command line. So you can read the CompSys Apple II news group. You can chat in the Apple II IRC chat room. And those, um, and you can do that all with any Apple II, including a 2C, which is cool stuff. Just let's, uh, let's take a look at this disk. Again, this is in a disk image that's on the Raspberry Pi. We still have access to our A2 Cloud disk with all our utilities over in Drive 2. And you're rocking and rolling. Go on the internet, download stuff, put it on a disk, or use it immediately if it's ProDOS. That's A2 Cloud. If you have questions, let me know. Give me a shout or post on the blog. And if you want to get rocking and rolling on all this, just Go to Apple II, that's with two I's, slash A2 Cloud, that's with a two. And the answers will await you. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed this.